Have you ever pondered what makes a substance acidic or basic, or why certain compounds are considered salts? Today we're going to unravel the mysteries behind these concepts in the simplest way possible. First we dive into the world of acids. Picture a lemon, taste its sourness, imagine the tingling sensation on your tongue. This is all thanks to citric acid, a common type of acid. In a scientific context, an acid is a substance that donates a proton or hydrogen ion to another substance. The more protons an acid can donate, the stronger it is. Acids have a pH value less than 7 and can turn blue litmus paper red, showcasing their unique properties. Now imagine biting into a piece of soap. Not a pleasant thought, is it? The bitter taste and slippery feel of soap is due to the presence of bases. Bases, also known as alkalis, are substances that accept protons or hydrogen ions. They have a pH value greater than 7 and can turn red litmus paper blue. The stronger the base, the more protons it can accept. But wait, what about those mysterious salts? Salts are formed when an acid reacts with a base in a process called neutralization. Picture it as a dance of particles, where the acid and base come together and swap parts. The acid gives up a proton, and the base happily accepts it. The result is a neutral substance or a salt and water. Sodium chloride, which you might know as table salt, is a common example of a salt. So, to recap, acids are proton donors with a pH value less than 7 and can turn blue litmus paper red. Bases, on the other hand, are proton acceptors with a pH value greater than 7 and can turn red litmus paper blue. Salts are the neutral products formed when an acid and a base react with each other. It's fascinating, isn't it? how these invisible interactions define the taste, feel, and reaction of substances around us. So the next time you enjoy a zesty lemon or add a pinch of salt to your food, remember the dance of the protons and the intriguing world of acids, bases, and salts.